Well, hey guys, welcome back to the vlog and another episode of Weird Dream I had last night. I had a dream that I was in HEB in the freezer section and I bumped into one of you guys and you were like saying hello and it was like a very pleasant conversation and then all of a sudden like my nose started bleeding and it was like really embarrassing. Then I like tried to walk away quickly and my shoes just like fell off my feet. And I was walking through H-E-B barefoot. <laughs> I woke up and my sock was half on my foot, half off my foot. So I don't know. Uh, anyway, I've been up coming in this morning with the Skin Aqua UV Super Moisture Milk. Hybrid sunscreen, nice fluid formula. This morning I washed my face with the Up and Up uh, Salicylic Acid Cleanser. And then I put on my Timeless Q10 Serum with Matrixel on it. This one's really easy to tolerate around the eyes. But what I like about this is it's kind of got a little bit of an emollient feel to it. So it's smooth, it glides on the skin easily. I mean, this one doesn't leave any cast for me. I've got it on my neck. It does not have niacinamide in it either, for those of you who find that niacinamide is your Time to crack into the dead man's reach. I love this stuff. Every single coffee from this brand has never let me down, Raven's Brew. I get it on iHerb. You're just too good to be true. The Dead Man's Reach definitely has an aroma of like a dark chocolate to it. I understand some people are not coffee drinkers. Some people prefer tea. I, I get that, I get that, fine. I love my tea. What I cannot relate to, and chime in below if you're one of these, I'm not trying to alienate you, but I cannot, I can't relate. People who drink an energy drink first thing in the morning. Ah, I can't, I can't. That is just a whole different, like, I don't enjoy energy drinks. I have to say, they have come a long way in terms of the taste profile. I really wish that certain energy drinks would just have a caffeine, like a, a no caffeine version. Some of them taste really good, but back in the day, all we had was Red Bull, and I could never, I could never understand why people love Red Bull so much. Like, the flavor of that, the smell, ugh, was just not my, not my jam. Um, it's like just, I don't know, I could not get get on the Red Bull train. I read an article the other day, an editorial by a pediatrician who was verbalizing how concerning it is that adolescents, teenagers, are like <clears throat> really into feeling like they have to consume these, oops, like pre-workouts and energy drinks, which for a young kid is is probably not healthy. I'm not a pediatrician, but I would, I've never understood pre-workout, honestly. Um, I think it, you know, this is just my opinion. I, I think it's just kind of a, a gimmick. <laughs> I mean, I guess I can see maybe if your energy is low, but I don't know. As somebody who likes coffee and, and drinks, I can't get behind pre-workout. So I rearranged my living room furniture and I think it looks better. I never bothered to take my winter pillow covers off. I kind of want to get some throw pillows for these chairs that have like a little almost linen look with a pink pineapple to match my pink pineapple back there. I think that would be cute to just bring things together. So I have my little fitness cart there. Ugh, need my muscles to plunge that one. I must have put a thick layer in there. Oh, so good. Yeah, I'm telling you, this coffee is my latest love affair this year. The uh, Raven's Brew. I know I talk about it all the time, but it really is that good. It's such a nice flavor profile. I mean, look at that. Well guys, get excited because guess what came? Oh. <laughs> As I almost fall off of my, I have this stool that's like a, it's supposed to make your, you stand up straight and prevent you from slouching. 
uh, but sometimes I fall off of it. Anyway, my FabFitFun box came for summer. Now, if you are new here, this is not sponsored. I buy the FabFitFun box myself. Um, I love it. Like, it's my favorite thing. It comes seasonally. The best way to get the most out of your box is to customize it. And so they tell you when the customization date opens up. And so as soon as that date opens up, you get in there and you pick what you want in your box. Otherwise, they'll just give you kind of the dregs and it'll be a lame box. So that is key number one. But key number two is don't get this box if you're someone who, like for example, you A, you, you know, you're like you're a minimalist or B, you don't like stuff that's mismatched. But for me as a single person, I find I get a lot of use out of the things that I get like, you know, a plate, you may be like, well, I need four plates because there are four people that live in my house. But for me, it's like, I really only need the one plate and I love it. So 99.9% .9 of the things that I get because I customize the box, I use and use and use and use. Now the box used to be a lot more festive. This is kind of a lame box. Like it used to be a lot prettier. I don't know what's going on there. Ooh, looks like we have a FabFitFun game a la lotto ticket scratch to win scratch and match match four logos in a row to win no purchase necessary to enter or win and this is exactly what you all tune in for what what should i do um over a thousand winners they claim i'm kind of nervous all right i'm just gonna go i'm just gonna go right here i'm gonna use this side of this key we got a pink fab fit fun there all right, so that didn't work. Let's try, I don't know if I can keep going. I imagine I can. I'm gonna go this way. No, this one's black. Hmm, all right, well, let's go up this way. Nope, up this way. Nope. Go up, up, up. Here's another black one, two in a row. Up! Nope. <laughs> uh. All right, let's try one last time. Not looking like we have any any winning spots here. I was really hoping that this right here would, would be it, but unfortunately, no. Let's see what we have here. Another black FabFitFun. That should have been there, and then we would have won. Ugh. Sorry, not an instant winner. Head to, to get more for, for more prizes. Head to FF. Mm. Well, we played and lost. <laughs> All right, but what did we actually get? This I am pretty excited about. This is a really good product. It's the BB Hairdressers Invisible Oil Healthy UV Protective Primer. This has UV filters in it, which is really helpful if you have blonde hair or color treated hair. It will reduce the risk that your hair weathers from UV exposure and it'll also help preserving your color treatment. And this is also a really great product for just improving hair manageability. It's one of my favorites. So when I saw that this was an option, I was like, sweet, because this stuff is not inexpensive. Like I've never had the big bottle of it. I've only ever had the little sample size, but this is really good. BB hairdressers, invisible oil, heat UV protective primer. It's also good, you know, as a heat protectant. What else came? Two bandits. Oh yeah, I remember this. To like store stuff. You could either use it like on your desk for paper clips and things of that sort, or what I'm gonna use it for is for jewelry. It's nice, it's got like felt lining, and then you can just spread it out, but then you can put everything together so it takes up less space. So I thought that was good, something I would get a lot of use out of. Um, had to have this because I can never have too many of these in my life. Let's open it up. I love, if it's the type of hat I'm thinking of, and I think it is, I love these. Um, it's, a, it's a travel hat, but what I love about these is for people like me who have, you know, I'm always wearing my hair like in a top bun. It actually makes it hard to get a lot of hats on. And my, when I put my hair up, especially like in a bun, that, all that hair on the top of my head, it, it's, it's blocking the sun from hitting my scalp. Now, if you have sparse hair, you know, you definitely don't want to go that route. But anyway, all that to say, like, you can make wearing a hat a little bit cumbersome. So I got this 
seagrass visor. Um, I thought it was cute. Check out the ribbon here. You can just tie it around. That way you can kind of adapt it to whatever hairstyle you have. Plus, you know, you can pack it easily. Sea and grass. Now, I don't know how, this actually looks like it's a pretty good weave too, um, in terms of blocking UV. Definitely will get some use out of that. Then I also got something from Kate Spade. I'm telling you, it's a good value. Like if you get in there on customization day and you don't, you don't dawdle, you get in there and you customize, you get the good stuff. Ooh, I know why I got this to match my plate. Oh, how cute, yes. I remember I was kind of eyeing something like this at Kroger the other day, and then when the FabFitFun customization came about and this was an option, I was like, sweet, I'm glad I didn't buy it. Um, because you can make, first of all, I love it because it matches the lemon plate, but it's this is Kate Spade. Um, and I also wanted it to have lemon water, you know, iced lemon water in the fridge. And it comes with these cute little glasses that you can store in the container when, when it's not in use, which I also love because it takes up less space. So I thought that was a really good thing and I will definitely use it. I just love the lemons. Um, I just think it's cute. You know, I have, I, I'm thinking of, of adding some lemon-ish stuff. Like I've got a cute little yellow towel in my kitchen because I have a lot of pink dishware. I think the pink and yellow is just so fun. I can hide the lemon stuff when it comes into the into the winter months. I don't really decorate my kitchen, but I like to have a few little seasonal pops of color. Oh, had to get these. Um, I know that the ankle socks, like socks above your ankles are really popular, but for me, they often trigger my eczema, like elastic around my ankles. I can't, around like my lower legs, I can't handle. So I have to have these little no-shows. I know they're not cool anymore, but whatever. Like when, when have I ever been here to set a, a fashion example? But I thought these colors were really nice. Um, I, I love, this is probably a fashion faux pas, but y'all know I have my vegan Birkenstocks, the pink ones. And I, I know this is an unpopular fashion opinion, but I happen to think getting a cute pair of uh, ankle socks like this, like a fun pattern that complements the color of the Birkenstocks. I think it looks cute with the Birkenstocks to wear little socks. I think it looks really cute. I know I'm probably in the minority there, but hey, cuts down on dry feet. Ooh, this is heavy. I don't remember what this is. Ceramic tray. Oh, leaf blowers fired up. You can hear that in the background. I gotta bring out the blade again. I just freaked out. I thought to myself, have I, did I hear record? I would, that would make me upset if I wasn't filming this whole time, but fortunately I did. Fun fact, uh, about a, two months ago at this point, I, uh, my microphone battery died uh, during a video that I was filming for you guys. During my video actually on signs of cortisol excess, and like it didn't record the audio for the last like um i don't know third of the video so i don't know if you guys oh how cute is that if you guys are super sleuths if you can detect the fact that the last like i don't know five minutes of the video was actually filmed on a different day i put the same outfit on but i had to re-record that last part uh, so the lighting may be subtly different in my isn't that cool? I got this because I thought it would look nice on my um, do nothing table. I forget what that's called, buffet, because it matches here. Yeah, I got it because it matches my lamp here and I thought it would look nice. It's kind of got like a ocean-y vibe there. And last but not least, to typically get an item of jewelry in here and these earrings, I thought were fun because they're subtle, but look, they have a little, I don't know if it's coming across on camera here. I don't know if you guys can appreciate, but this is like almost opal combined with the gold. It's really pretty. I look forward to wearing these. Elizabeth Stone, never heard of this brand, but that's one of the things I love most about FabFitFun is like, I get to discover different jewelry brands because some brands look really cute like online and on the shops and everything, but the quality is not quite there and it tarnishes easily. So I'm not, I'm never upset to get jewelry in my FabFitFun because I can try out a new brand and... Well, hey guys, here's the new little hat. 
It does the trick. Um, I don't know. I think my coolie bar ones I prefer. The weather is beautiful today. Um, I just passed the former location of Barnes and Noble. Remember, I used to come here a fair amount and wander through Barnes and Noble. It went out of biz, and now it's a um, like clinic. One of the things I wanted to chat with you guys about now that it's the summer months um, and it's warm. If you do a lot of prolonged standing in the heat. It can bring out this rash on your legs called pigmented purpura. A lot of people have it. I get it because I run. I have a whole video on it, but uh, it tends to get worse this time of year. So check out my video on red spots on the legs. I go over like tips to prevent it from flaring up. Ew, check out these drinks. Uh, Ron Dolls has watermelon lemonade. Um, I'm inspired to make my own watermelon lemonade by, by that. Buy one, get one free. They have raspberry lemonade. I'm not such a fan of raspberry. Like, I mean, I'll consume raspberry flavored things, but it's not like my favorite fruit flavor. I'd much rather have strawberry. Comment below, are you a strawberry person or a raspberry person? Speaking of strawberries, they are buy one, get one free. Gem pack. Gem packed. <laughs> Get it? What in the heck? Oh, it's some kind of a sweet. It's like, what is going on there? Check it out. Randall's has this free osk. You can get a free sample of today's freebie is fruity flavored Tootsie Rolls. I've never seen that. I'm telling you, everything is, is coming up automated because is this the new replacement for sample dolar outer people um i suppose it is you have to scan your rent and dolls card to get a freebie yeah i came over here just to check it out because i don't typically shop here but kroger has been slacking on some things i was telling you all last weekend how i don't really shop at heb that much because the heb near me is like kind of crowded and they don't typically carry everything but Long story short, I ended up shopping there last weekend um, when we were in there together, and they had majority of what I need. So I'm thinking I'm going to start shopping there more often because, I don't know, I like that they are more supportive of the employee in terms of keeping employees and not like turning it all over to customers doing everything. Plus it's more of a like local thing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was just talking about how I wanted to have lemon and pink like lemons and pink stuff in my kitchen. Look at this. I've never heard of this swoon, but it's Barbie. I almost have to buy it. $1.88 for a can of lemonade. Zero sugar. Has anyone had this? Sweetened with monk fruit? Hmm. I'm tempted to buy it for decoration purposes. I'm not even kidding. That seems really expensive though. Um, I'm gonna resist. <laughs> Just buy some lemons and make lemonade myself. But it won't be pink. Is it just me? These kind of look like Olipop, culture pop. I like Olipop. But strawberry rhubarb, that sounds good. Village Candle is not here to play. This warm apple pie smells delicious. I know it's off season, but I'm very tempted. Is it too, oh no, that's a plug-in. $19.99? Mm, I don't know. Why do they have these nice fall scents out? Village Candle doesn't really adhere to the seasonal calendar. They kind of, I think, stick to. Ooh, cinnamon oatmeal cookie. Now, this seems like a foreign concept to me of something that I once vividly remember from my childhood is shoe polish. Like, um, I need you guys to comment below. Do you polish your shoe, shoe shining? Is that something people are still doing? I guess like if you have boots and stuff, why not? Saddle soap. Huh. Look at these, you can get shoelaces here too. Have I stepped back in time? Somehow, you know why I came over here um, actually is because here I am, here I am. I'm going, I'm going in you guys. I mean, I, I wish you could stop me, but here I go again. You think I would learn my lesson with command hooks, but here we go, probably my 130th command hook. But listen, listen, listen. Um, last night, the oh, I, I had one of these command hooks up on the back of my closet for a good four years now. And I'm telling you, it, it, it lasted up there and it's what I used to hang my robe on. Well, I got a little, I got a little sassy when I hung my robe up last night, I guess. Uh, the force was just, I don't know, all of a sudden the plastic just gave out and this part broke off the hook. Still adhering on there, but the hook just needs to be replaced. 
Uh, and like I have like three robes that I hang on this one hog. Probably what did in the, the thing. Anyway, now I have these robes that need to be hung up. So I'm here getting another one. Six dollars? That seems like a lot. But anyway, I'm going in. I mean, what other options do I have? And they have some good gadgets here. Like this is stuff that like in a pinch you're always thinking to yourself, Oh, I wonder if I need that. Like you can never have enough of these zip ties. Those are always handy. I don't know about these sewing kits. When I was a child, I was low-key, like, fixated on these sewing kits. I always thought, like, there was going to be this scenario where I was going to need to sew on a button. I had quite a few of them um, for a while there, and I never ended up using them. But this one looks pretty, pretty comprehensive for $6.49. I wonder how those scissors perform. Uh, you get quite a few threads in there for hemming pants and the like. I don't know. Listen then you have Gorilla Glue here. Single edge razor. I mean, they really have it all here. Gorilla Super Glue. This is what I need. So no more. <laughs> uh, I wonder if this works as just like a little uh, hem the pants. Because I have these pants from Old Navy that are just a touch too long. Like just a touch. And... I don't want to deal with hemming them myself because I'm incompetent and tailoring can be kind of pricey. I don't know. Everybody's all about those scrub daddies, but these scotch brights are looking kind of, kind of like a competition. Just mostly because I like this purple color. I also like, you know, I was going on and on about pink and yellow, like the pink lemonade vibe I'm going for in my kitchen. Um, but I also like lavender and, and lemon, that color combination. Aquaphor Itch Relief Ointment. This is a great one to have in your first aid kit for bug bites. It's 1% hydrocortisone, fragrance-free ointment base. Uh, and it does have lanolin though, so if you're allergic to lanolin, you'd want to avoid. But uh, yeah, this is great for uh, like mosquito bites or bug bites. Uh, as soon as you get one, put this on because it'll stop the itch. The thing about bug bites is once you start scratching, it releases more itch signals, making you to uh, leading you to keep scratching, and then the skin can get thickened, discolored, lead to hyperpigmentation. Not to mention, you know, any bacteria under your nails can get introduced into the bug bite and it can get infected. Especially that can happen with young children playing outside and the likes. Gold Bond Anti-Itch Lotion has menthol in it, which helps kind of distract the itching signals, but it is fragrant, so if you're allergic, you'd want to avoid. Uh, Promoxine, though, is a nice anesthetic that can kind of soothe the itch as well. This, this would be a good option if you've got like a bunch of bug bites all over and you want to, you're, you're tempted to go to town. I, I highly recommend putting this in the fridge, though, because uh, applying it cold really enhances the efficacy of, of the anti-itch action. Speaking of which, Aveeno has an anti-itch concentrated lotion. What is in this? Uh, calamine and Promoxine. Um, interesting. I didn't know they had that. Um, Promoxine, again, that's the uh, anesthetic that can soothe. The CeraVe Itch Relief Moisturizing Lotion is one with the Promoxine in it as well. This is really nice because it's got ceramide in it to kind of help support the barrier to really help with the itch. Uh, Sarna Itch Relief is another great option. It's Promoxine and it also is free of fragrance. This is a good one if you're really itchy. Well, hey guys, I just got out of the shower and I'm coming into my islands with a little petrolata because today I filmed a video for y'all. It should be up already at this point comparing the Peter Thomas Roth Instant Firmex Eye Bag tight Tightener, whatever it's called, with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Bag. And if you missed the video, definitely watch it if you're at all interested in products that temporarily diminish the appearance of under eye puffiness in bags via silicates which dry on there. Anyway, yada yada yada, you know, an issue I've been having trying those out is they dry on my eyelids. So I have to combat that by using a little petrol bottom, which I typically do use around my eyelids anyway, but you know, from time to time I go off of it and I don't really, you know, I just use my basic moisturizer, but I've definitely needed to come in for a little bit of barrier enhancement because that stuff has been dry. But it got me thinking, you know, it, it's, it's sometimes it's just the case where there's a, a product that is aimed at a problem or it even makes up a problem in some cases, like to, to make you feel as though you need it to correct some problem, which may not even be a problem for you. And 
you know, whether or not it works or not <clears throat> is one thing, but then it creates a secondary issue that you need another product for or another, you know, thing. And it, it, if you don't make the connection, then you'll be like, well, I need a rich eye cream for nighttime. And you may not make the connection that it's that eye bag thing drying out your eyelids and, and ultimately creating a, an issue for you around the eyes that exacerbates the initial thing that you perceived as a problem, which is just, you know, the appearance of the under eye laxity and, and fine lines and wrinkles. One pursuit begets another set of necessities. You know, a lot of times medications are billed as like the solution for things, um, but they end up causing complications and need other medications to manage those side effects, complications, and things of that sort, where it's like, if we could just focus more efforts on prevention, not needing the medication, that is, that's really what would be the bee's knees. Unfortunately, you know, our modern medical industrial complex, if you will, gives very little time uh, allowment in the office visit, allowment? Very little time allowance in the office visit for, you know, preventative health. And not to mention, you know, a lot of people nowadays they don't go to the doctor preventatively. They wait until they have a problem. And not, you know, out of rebellion necessarily, just merely access issues, cost, um, and time. A lot of people, you know, it's hard to get time off. Um, and you have kids at home. These are things that, you know, are real barriers for people. Uh, so it's not, a, you know, a problem with any one individual. There are a lot of, you know, things that need to be addressed for, for stuff to to improve. All right, y'all, I hope you're having a great weekend. Week, weekend. I'm gonna wrap this vlog up. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.